Okay, so this is the last video for food and health, and this video is about managing pandemics, including the epidemiology of the disease, prior local and global awareness, international action, and the role of the media, and also a case study. Okay, so definitions. Pandemic is an epidemic of disease that has spread across a large region. For instance, multiple continents or even worldwide, pandemics can involve a range of diseases. Medical researchers believe that pandemics are inevitable and that human intervention can only control their spread. The reason that pandemics are inevitable is that new viruses are constantly emerging. So this occurs through continual evolution through two processes, antigenic drift, which is the gradual change that occurs to a virus over time and is responsible for new types of viruses, and antigenic shift, which is when two virus strains combine and in effect create an entirely new strain. And this can be seen with actually the COVID going on currently. Um, okay, so these are things that are mentioned in the syllabus point. The epidemiology of the disease is basically like how it's spread, um, the factors that caused it, where is it, where, like what areas are being impacted most, like things like that, like the characteristics of the disease, prior local and global awareness, so like is it a disease that has been there for a while or not, and that impacts like how it's managed because it, obviously it's new, it's harder to manage, like COVID um, is relatively like, well it's a novel disease virus so it's harder to manage um international action so the willingness of different nations to cooperate and like um kind of work to to eradicating or like managing a virus and then the role of the media of course in like portraying the virus and providing like real information that is like as like that is basically not skewed in its um in its like reflection of the facts and the scientific evidence so the case study here is ebola so the causes of ebola um in kind of ebola was kind of centralized in in this case study we're going to discuss like the democratic republic republic of congo guinea liberia sierra and leone so in the, these areas um Oh, that's where the case study is going to be discussed. Okay, so it was founded in DR Congo in 1976 because of bats being a part of the diet. It's highly infectious, it spreads easily. Dead bodies have been left in the streets, leading to even more um, kind of spread of the disease. And there is a lack of healthcare facilities and clean water in the Demo Democratic Republic of Congo. Um, Guinea, Liberia, Sierra Leone. It started in the Democratic Republic of Congo. As I mentioned, low literacy rates prevent the like spreading of information and it's harder because of this lack of education in this in these um, nations. And there's also mattresses in the waterways because people don't have like the means to dispose um, efficiently of these like contaminated materials okay so the impacts of this is that there were a lot of air links closed so economic damage tourist damage like that type of thing um the news coverage was reported to be like too westernized there was a lot of school closures strikes um because of this pandemic so solutions is that in August of 2014, the Liberian government sealed off West Point area, a large area, and that led to um, quite a bit of like upheaval, of course. And in August of 2014, the Liberian government sealed, oops, I just read that. <laughs> in Monrovia, there were quarantines um, and that led to 45,000 people protesting. Redemption Hospital exceeded its capacity, which is a very like, um, a hospital that was relied on very much in the time of Ebola and then the UN and WHO had their presence in these countries and there was like um, what's it called um, education sessions on like um, how to boil water how to you know maintain sanitation and things like this um, in like a lot of different process pro, pro, <laughs> provinces and um, villages, uh, and also by the way, Monrovia is the capital of Liberia.